Hello everyone, I'm Shibani Gharat. The doyen of Indian advertising and theatre personality Alec Padamzi passed away this morning in Mumbai at the age of 90. He was well known for his iconic campaigns like, Sir, like Serves Lalita Ji, the MRF Muscle Man, the Little Girl and Hamara Bajaj amongst others. We are, uh, joining, uh, we are joined today on the show by Executive Chairman and Chief Creative Officer of Ogilvy South Asia, Piyush Pandey, Chairman and Managing Director of of Madison Worldwide, Sam Balsara. Both of uh, them have worked with uh, Alec Padamzi in the past. Uh, beginning with Piyush. Uh, Piyush, can you tell us uh, your interactions with Alec and, uh, you know, when did you meet him as an industry peer for the first time? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, it's a very sad day for the industry. The industry has lost uh, an iconic figure who actually led from the front in making the industry exciting. He was a flamboyant man who was not scared of things. I first uh, used to meet him in the 80s uh, at the Unilever office because both the agencies were working there. And then we got to know each other. Uh, and he actually offered me a job once, <laughs> uh, which never worked out. But I must say that he had that kind of a stature to be able to appreciate another agency's work very, very openly. Hmm. And uh, he, he, he was one of the greatest of the 70s and 80s, along with three or four other people. Uh, it is a very sad day. I knew him very well. I have done uh, talks with him for Mr. Subhash Goshal's uh, memorial. Uh, he never hesitated to say good things and he wanted to hear good things which we already said to him. Uh, Piyush, you know, at the time uh, you joined the industry, uh, you know, uh, just after, uh, you know, uh, your Ranji playing days, uh, 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 Alec Padamzi had already created some of the iconic ads that Indian advertising industry uh, had seen. So, uh, which ones uh, are your personal favourites? I, I think uh, Liril was already created when I joined, but... Uh, Alec did his uh, fantastic work on with Lalita Ji and uh, a very radical piece of communication or a campaign for Kama Sutra campaigns after I joined the industry. Uh, he also did some wonderful public service work for family planning. I think more than anything else, he was a wonderful influence on the industry to say we, we are not stayed, we are we have our flamboyance. He, he gave the industry a lot of swagger. Um, and I, I will always remember him for that. Uh, we are also joined in by Sam Balsara, Chairman and MD of Madison World, uh, joins us right now. Could you maybe start by talking about Alec and his legacy and what his contribution uh, has been to the Indian advertising industry? Well, I would say that uh, the unique uh, thing that he contributed to Indian advertising is that he brought showmanship to Indian advertising. I think because of the fact that he was a theater uh, personality and I think his, his training and upbringing in theater helped him make a better advertising man and that also tremendously helped him in his, uh, you know, conceptualization and presentation skills uh, uh, in advertising. Uh, I think some of his most memorable work, if I recall, I think I would recall the little ad, you know, the girl in the waterfall. I would say the, the Puja Baby Kama Sutra ad. Uh, I think he also... Uh, despite being a creative person, he also had a good business sense. And possibly in India, he was one of the first creative people to head an agency. And I think that started a trend 
and today you find more creative agencies led by creative people rather than client service or strategy uh, uh, people. I think one of the things that I learned from him was that you must always rehearse, whether it's a speech or a presentation or whatever. The key word is to rehearse. You may be a veteran, and I have seen him often backstage, uh, you know, before going on stage, he would always rehearse. And I think that is one of the things uh, that I've learned from him. And I always say this to youngsters today, that don't get overconfident and just think that you can come on stage and, uh, you know, do your piece. Uh, uh, Piyush, coming back to you, uh, you know, you were uh, in advertising at the time when the Indian advertising industry was really taking shape. And in fact, you and Alec were in two rival agencies. Uh, was there a point in time when, uh, you know, you guys pitched against each other and how did that uh, pitch take shape? I, I think uh, very often we pitched against each other. Sometimes uh, Alex team won, sometimes we won. But I still remember one of the historic pitches for Tata Steel in Jamshedpur, where four agencies, all of us were there, Alex was there. And uh, we were told the result while coming back. And we were all on the same train. And I remember Alex being... And we had one to walk up to me and said, I'm. Oh. So, uh, as I said earlier, he was never hesitant to appreciate good work of his rivals also. Sam, uh, Sam, do you remember any anecdotal incident uh, about when you met him or worked with him or when you have shared the storyboard with him, uh, so to speak? Directly with him. Two times uh, I I got into uh, sort of intense interaction with him. On both occasions, they were not very happy occasions. Uh, one was actually when we were sponsoring Rajni, featuring Priya Tendulkar, and. Uh, you know, then I had used her in one of her ads for Godrich. And Limpaz was also trying to use her for one of the lever products. And we got into a spat on it. And the other time was, of course, a more famous incident on Liril where... I launched Synthol Line with, uh, even if I say so, a rather unique and very cut-through ad which made Lever and Lintath a little nervous. And they put their dirty tricks department at work uh, so these were the two times, unfortunately, both not very happy. However, that does not take away my respect and regard for him as an outstanding creative person who contributed tremendously to the growth and stature of uh, Indian advertising. Sam, what amongst uh, his body of work uh, do you consider to be the best work? Uh, which is the one do you really look up to? Well, I, I just mentioned it to you. I think uh, I think his best work was for Liril Toilet Soap. It was a lime soap. And, uh, you know, it was a refreshing ad showing Karen... Lunel in a green bikini under a waterfall, which, you know, did a great job of uh, visually connoting freshness, which was the basic promise of the soap. And I think the combination of the girl in the waterfall with a very, uh, you know, attractive jingle uh, made the commercial an outstanding one of its time. 
Thank you, Sam, for joining us this afternoon.